Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. State leaders are debating the best way forward for phase one of reopening Michigan's economy. The governor says she will consider all ideas, but decisions will be data driven to keep people safe and avoid a second wave of the virus. The latest numbers from the state show Michigan now has 32,000 cases of the disease. More than 2,400 people have died, but the daily trend of new cases and deaths appears to be on the decline. The parents of Michigan's youngest victim of COVID-19 are sharing their heartbreak with the world. They are both first responders in Detroit. Lavandria Herbert is a police officer and Ebby Herbert, a firefighter. Their five-year-old daughter, Skylar, passed away Sunday after two weeks on a ventilator at Beaumont Hospital. Her parents hope others learn from their tragedy that COVID can take anyone, even a vibrant, beautiful little girl. Michigan Humane Society is launching two new support services to help pet owners get through the crisis. It now has a telemedicine uh, platform for MHS veterinarians to provide existing clients with online appointments. The surges, uh, service is for non-emergency issues. Michigan Humane Society is also teaming up with VetSource. It allows current clients to order their pets' prescriptions and have them delivered to their home. The founder of Bass Pro Shops is donating a million face masks to healthcare workers and first responders across the country. Johnny Morris is dispatching what he calls a convoy of hope to distribute them in communities where the company has Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's locations. In Michigan, that includes Auburn Hills, Chesterfield Township, and Dundee. Each area will receive between 5,000 and 10,000 masks. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Thanks, Dave. We're going to be tracking some showers and thunderstorms during the overnight hours into the morning and temperatures will be dropping throughout the night. We're going to see lows into the 30s, 36 degrees for Detroit, Pontiac at 32. Winds will kick up for much of the day on Tuesday.